Welcome, and thank you for joining us today. My name is Mark Durrett, and I'm with Stamus Networks. I'm going to spend a few minutes introducing the concept of Network Detection and Response, or NDR. Then we're going to spend some time reviewing the five essential requirements for NDR that we've gathered from our work with organizations around the world. And finally, I'll end by spending a few minutes introducing my company, Stamus Networks. Hopefully by the end of this talk, you'll have a better understanding of what to look for in a network detection and response solution. And we should have plenty of time for questions. So what exactly is network detection and response or NDR? Well, the product category was defined in 2020 by the industry analysts at Gartner. Simply put, NDR solutions continuously monitor and analyze raw enterprise network traffic in the cloud and on-premise to uncover threats facing your organization and notify your teams so they can respond. Um, NDR is quickly becoming an essential security monitoring tool for enterprises by uncovering by uncovering serious and imminent risks from network activity, uh, by capturing evidentiary logs, and by facilitating incident response. And a properly deployed NDR solution can help security teams proactively identify and address threats to the organization's digital assets through the automated detection of advanced persistent threats, malware, ransomware, and dangerous violations of security policies, among other things. So why should we be focusing on the network? Well, the main reason is that it holds the ground truth for an enterprise's security posture, even as more organizations shift to cloud-based resources, encrypted transmission, and remote workforces, Nearly all cyber threats generate communications that can be observed on the network. And in many BYOD environments and with the proliferation of IoT devices, you simply can't rely on endpoint detection alone to uncover threats. So the goal of NDR is to tap into that inherent power of network traffic to uncover critical threats to your organization. As I mentioned earlier, the market analysts have succeeded in establishing a baseline definition for network detection and response solutions. But with nearly two dozen vendors staking claims in this space, it's important to focus on the capabilities that will have the greatest impact on a successful deployment and operation. Well, the good news is that after nearly seven years of developing and deploying network security solutions, we at Stamus Networks have compiled input from our customers and prospects to identify five essential characteristics of a winning NDR solution. And they are sophisticated detection, transparent and explainable results with evidence, high fidelity and high confidence notifications, guided threat hunting, and lastly, openness and extensibility. So let's take a little deeper look into each of these. The success of any NDR solution starts with its ability to autonomously detect threats and notify security personnel when something bad is happening. Enterprise security has always been dynamic, but the pace of change has accelerated in recent years making the job of the cyber defense team more difficult than ever. The attack landscape has evolved to include highly effective supply chain and ransomware attacks led by nation states and organized criminals. Detecting these modern threats requires bringing together a number of mechanisms, some simple and some others, which are very sophisticated each that contribute to a system's ability to uncover danger and support an appropriate response. Many NDR vendors have developed impressive systems with advanced machine learning, slick graphical interfaces, and ambitious claims. 
Our most advanced customers tell us that the combination of multiple detection techniques is much more effective than a single mechanism like machine learning or explicit signatures alone. Ultimately, you want a solution that can help you eliminate blind spots in your network and generate a multi-dimensional stream of logs that can be correlated and used for threat hunting and incident investigation. So here are a few examples of the families of threats that your NDR should be able to, to detect. You can see that these are each a little different and that helps to explain why we need broad-based threat detection from multiple mechanisms. What we're hearing from experienced defenders is that the right solution for the rapidly changing threat landscape lies in a security infrastructure built upon components. Solutions that are open to third-party threat intelligence and third-party system integrations, while openly delivering transparent results and the evidence to support the detection. They want to be able to understand what triggered the alert and how it relates to their assets that are being attacked. They want to be able to access all related information associated with a threat declaration or an incident in order to understand exactly what happened. And believe it or not, there are a number of NDR systems on the market that do not provide this level of detail. So the whole idea here is to gain visibility into the attack campaign and the impacted assets and be able to clearly communicate with the team that's responding to the incident. So here are a few examples of what I mean. On the left, you'll see a simple timeline illustrating the progression of an attack through the phases of the cyber kill chain. In this case, Maldoc was used to deliver the malware. Uh, Ersniff was installed and used for command and control process. And finally, TrickBot and Iced ID were used as the attack moved into the actions on objectives phase. In the right example, you can see the entire event stream that led up to the attack, along with sub a substantial amount of metadata and a complete transaction record. Now, one of the negative side effects of having multiple detection techniques is that the system can actually produce an overwhelming amount of data in the form of security events. As I discussed earlier, this is very beneficial when it comes time to investigate an incident and piece together all the stages of a campaign. But we know that enterprises are struggling to staff their security teams with experienced personnel, and nobody wants a solution that requires more time to manage. So that's why an effective NDR must actually do the difficult work of automating event triage and identifying the most serious and imminent threats that need your immediate attention. In most cases, that requires an additional layer of algorithmic threat detection or machine learning um, that identifies high confidence threats to your critical assets, maps the advancement of those threats along the stages of the cyber kill chain, and serves as a smoke alarm to alert your personnel or systems when a serious and imminent threat is discovered. At Stamus, we call these response-ready alerts declarations of compromise. And we'll talk a little bit more about that when we introduce the Stamus NDR system a little bit later. In order to illustrate the impact that this can have on a security operations team, let's take a look at this real world example from one of our deployments. Now, this is a very active threat environment at a hosting provider's data center, and hopefully you won't face this kind of onslaught. We deployed a Stamus NDR on this site, and here's what we saw in one week. Uh, our system's various detection mechanisms generated over 16 billion security events while it was tracking activity associated with over 37 million endpoints. Of course, it would be impossible for a security team to investigate every one of these. But the good news is that the Stamus NDR was able to identify uh, only a small number, 28, uh, serious and eminent threats against 95 impacted assets. 
And these high confidence notifications uh, are much more manageable in terms of the number. Threat hunting, the proactive detection, isolation, and investigation of threats that often evade automated security systems has emerged as a key component of cybersecurity strategies. As more and more sophisticated enterprises adopt proactive threat hunting programs, they're looking for their network and endpoint solutions to provide tools that make their jobs easier. Our customers have told us that this is an important feature in their NDR platform, and they are looking for user experience for both the experienced analysts as well as those who are not as skilled. The critical capabilities here include search, filtering, and pivoting on events and metadata using both predefined and custom filter criteria. In these examples, we can see predefined filters for things like suspicious user agent, proxy servers, potential botnets, and more. Other time-saving capabilities include a repeatable process that allows skilled analysts to empower less experienced analysts by tagging events that should be looked into. So it's important to recognize that NDR is not the only tool in the security tech stack. And in order for organizations to take advantage of best of breed technologies, the NDR should provide open interfaces that enable straightforward integration with other services such as SOAR, SIM, XDR, and incident response. Also, because there are many reliable sources of threat intelligence, it's critical that your vendor does not lock you into only their proprietary threat intelligence and detection algorithms. Ideally, you want to be able to take advantage of third-party threat intelligence and customized detection for your environment. Here are a few examples of what we mean by openness and extensibility. On the left, you can see a user interface for creating custom detections based on criteria uncovered during threat hunting. The diagram in the center illustrates a number of integrations that leverage open interfaces on the NDR. And finally, on the far right, you can see an example of how an NDR can configure third-party threat intelligence and rule sets. In summary, while there are a number of great features in the various NDR solutions on the market today, many of which we did not talk about at all, these are the five ones that our customers tell us mean the most to them. Sophisticated detection, transparent, explainable results with evidence, high fidelity, high confidence notifications, guided threat hunting, and openness and extensibility. So who is Stamus Networks? I'll spend just a couple of minutes introducing our company. At Stamus, we believe in a world where defenders are heroes and a future where those they protect remain safe. As organizations face threats from well-funded adversaries, we relentlessly pursue solutions that make the defender's job easier and more impactful. As a global provider of high-performance network-based threat detection and response systems, we help enterprise security teams know more, respond sooner, and mitigate their risk with insights gathered from cloud, and on-premise network activity. Our advanced network detection and response systems expose serious and imminent threats to critical assets and empower rapid response. Unlike other network security vendors, Stemis Networks delivers truly useful detection at enterprise scale by applying the right technologies to the right problems while avoiding the hype, fear, and exaggeration that's often employed by security vendors. So we talked a lot about key requirements for an effective NDR solution. And as you can see here, we believe our Stamus NDR meets those requirements. Stamus NDR consists of two components, the Stamus Network Probes and Stamus Security Platform. The probes, may be deployed in the cloud, on-premise, or in a combination of the two. 
Typically, multiple probes are connected by a network tap, packet broker, or span mirror port in locations that give the system visibility into both north-south as well as east-west traffic. Stamus Security Platform provides a centralized management of and event aggregation from the network probes, provides user interface, advanced analytics, and a number of other critical functions. The software license is available in two feature tiers. Stamus ND is the entry level, which provides a drop-in upgrade to your existing IDS with a significant number of enhanced capabilities. While Stamus NDR adds response-ready declarations of compromise, machine learning, and asset insights that are not available in the Stamus ND. The best part is, of course, that you can start by deploying Stamus ND and upgrade to Stamus NDR when you're ready. Now, I realize I've said a lot of great things about Stamus networks, but I can understand uh, if you are skeptical. Our customers actually do a lot better job than I do explaining why they love us. If you want to read a couple of reviews, you can check them out on Gartner's Peer Insights. I hope this has given you a better understanding of the power of network detection and response and some of the critical requirements to look for when selecting an NDR solution for your organization. To learn more about Stamus Network Solutions and request a demo, please visit our website at stamusnetworks.com. Thank you.